Yes, it's time for social media buzz. And Bola, something is buzzing. Yeah, something is buzzing. We still mm -hmm. have this drug issue in Nigeria. and this It's is not going course. anywhere soon. It's not going anywhere soon. Mm -hmm. That's the sad reality. But this is a 26-year-old lawyer who bagged five years' imprisonment for drug trafficking. The Federal High Court sitting in Lagos has sentenced a 26-year-old lawyer, mm -hmm. Suleiman Kao Sarat, yesterday to five years' imprisonment for drug trafficking. This comes following her guilty plea to a charge of conspiracy and unlawful export of 1.1 kilograms of cannabis sativa. The convict who studied law at the Benin Republic University was arrested and arraigned by the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA. Prosecution counsel Mr. Abu Ibrahim told the court that Yetunde of 28 for Intola Giwa Street, Agudasrule, Lagos, was arrested on July 18, 2022, at the Motala, <coughs> excuse me, Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, while she was attempting to export the banned substance. And she was said to have procured uh, one Benjamin Christopher Joel to commit the illegal act. Justice Daniel Osiago, in his verdict, sentenced year to day to five years imprisonment with an option of 100,000 naira fine. Now, before I take the comments, mm -hmm. uh, you'd see that uh, even the consequences look very trivial. Exactly. 100,000 naira fine compared five to years. five years mm -hmm. imprisonment. Uh, it's, it's quite shocking to say the least. If we really want to wage the war on drug trafficking and ensure that we do not have you know, had drugs on our streets where mm -hmm. the average Nigerian can just, you know, have access to, especially the youths, then we need to have stiffer punishments in place. If you say five-year jail time, yes, that's um, a, a better way to fight it. But when you now give an option of 100,000, it's not even 10 million, mm -hmm. you know, 100,000, I mean, that's ridiculous. For someone who claims to be a lawyer or who is a lawyer, she can easily find one or two friends that can lend her that money if she doesn't even have naira. it. You know, and for a drug trafficker, you would expect that such a person has 100,000 naira in, mm. in the coffers. So, but really, are we serious about tackling this crime? Because th that's the issue. If you think about the consequences you're giving someone mm. who has been caught, you know, trafficking drugs, 100,000 naira, you wonder if really we're serious about fighting it. Th that's where, you know, um, I, I, I've talked about, you know, having a strong legislation to back up some of these things. We need to revisit some of the laws we have and, you know, amend them and make them stringent in how they address issues. We can't have someone who traffics um, drugs has been caught, you know, persecuted. The person has admitted and pleaded mm -hmm. guilty. And then you're given an option of a 100,000 fine. Really? It's ridiculous. <laughs> because, you know, that's something that family, friends, anyone can easily rally around to, to you know, to produce in terms but, of But it looks like Boba Marwa, uh, the NDLEA boss, is really mm -hmm. serious about tackling, uh, you know, drugs, drugs uh, it must, drug trafficking. This it must be said that ever since he assumed office, you know, we've seen more arrests being made. Mm. Um, yes, you know, there are allegations, allegations also about well. he himself, some mm -hmm. questions raised about his personality mm -hmm. when it comes to how he came into office, office all of the that, past, yeah. you know, events that have mm -hmm. happened, you know, a lot of cans of worms. But let's uh, look at some reactions. Uh, this one is by Mr. Spencer saying, behind every one profession mm -hmm. is a human with needs, ambition, and goals. Our needs is no respecter of our discipline if not how can one explain a lawyer going into drugs exactly. and rosie throne says a senior colleague sentence junior colleague country hard but still does it worth risking this for and also we have uh hadiza aloba saying ex-convicts don't choke for nigeria this country chai if you look at the fact that a lot of people are being sentenced to court uh, or rather sentenced to jail, jail. We are going to have a lot of ex-convicts mm -hmm. in the country, and it shows the high level of crime in the country. Well, so many reasons, you know, to attribute to that. We, we talk about the high rate of unemployment, inflation, and all of that. Certain government policies that you Asu know, strike uh, students Asu are strike. idle. Exactly, certain government policies that strip people of their livelihood without providing alternatives. Mm. That will also contribute to it. We've talked about, you know, the motorcycle ban or cada ban, as it were, and how we, um, lack of alternatives can push some of them to crime. 
Mm. Again, there's no justification for delving into crime, but we also have to be realistic that human mm. um, humans need a means of survival, and if they don't get the legal means, they'll resort to the illegal means. So mm. all of these are the issues, and I hope that we, we get better, but we need to do more with the laws of the land in terms of mm. fighting drug. Mm. Well, let's wrap it up with the quote of the day, and this is by Marley Macklin, saying, silence is the last thing the world will ever hear from me. From everyone. It says what it says. Um, it, it's strong. It's it's beyond what's on the surface. You know, mm. you, you look at the place of um, death and you know that, I mean, at that very last point, it's silence. Yes. Even when you have your, you, have you no know, your, your wishes and all, mm. oh, do this, I wish you, you pray for your grandchildren or whatever it is. That's the last thing. You Although just sometimes silence is golden. Golden. Sometimes you, you have know. to just keep quiet. It, exactly. So um, you have to look at it on a broader scale. Mm. Um, if it has to do with death, which looks like the surface thing, you know quite well. But when you look at it, you know, beyond that, you realize that it's just mm. about having to keep one's peace. All right. This is where we keep silent on the show. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for being a fan of iBrand Daybreak today. My name is Omobolan Lee Adishi. Have a good day. And I'm Samson Lady. Do have a great day.